In our previous episode, we introduced the Jiahu bone flute made from the ulna bone from the red-crested cranes that were unearthed in Hunan province. The red-crested crane is a bird whose habitat is made up mostly of marshland. Its immaculate plumage and graceful poise make it a symbol of longevity and elegance since ancient times. In popular folklore, the crane is famed as the immortal crane of folk legends. However, the red-crested crane has become listed as an endangered species both nationally and in an addendum to China's ascension to the WTO. With the source of prime material for the flutes under national protection and therefore no longer available, does this spell extinction for the sweet ancestral sound of the bone flute? Reviving ancient tunes and engaging in a musical dialogue with our ancestors is a lifelong dream of the Chinese people. In the year 2000, thanks to the efforts of the scholars from the Hunan Provincial Museum, the Hua Xia Ancient Music Orchestra was founded. This orchestra plays on replicas of the 20 instruments deemed to be the most representative of the musical tradition of the Chinese Central Plains. Amongst these, of course, is a replica of the Jiahu bone flutes. Scholars explain that the red crane ulna is particularly well suited for the production of flutes since they are especially long and thin. It is very difficult to find a bone displaying these characteristics in any other animal. It was thus that experts at the Wuhan Conservatory began tireless series of experiments. Finally, by grinding the bones of dead birds into a thin powder and then producing a paste with which to fill a mold of the exact dimensions of the Jiahu bone flute, a successful replica of the bone flute was produced. Its sound is remarkably similar to that of the original, and not a single animal was harmed during its entire production. In 2007, when China celebrated the 10th anniversary of the return of Hong Kong to the motherland, the Hua Xia Ancient Music Orchestra from the Hunan Museum was invited to Hong Kong to perform. The opening piece was entitled Echoes from Antiquity, especially composed for the bone flute, the clay shun, and the percussion, wind, and string sections. Musicians scattered around the theater interacted with those on stage in a magnificent musical display. The piece focused on the natural harmony between the heavens, the earth, and human beings, highlighting the timeless charm of Chinese traditional music. Nowadays, more than 30 bone flutes have been unearthed from the Jiahu ruins. Only two of them, both displaying seven sound holes, have been well preserved, though, through the ages. They are conserved at the Chinese National Museum and the Hunan Provincial Museum. The Jiahu bone flute is the earliest wind instrument thus far discovered in the world. Indeed, it is at the very top of the Hunan Provincial Museum's treasures, where it gives off a spellbinding luster. The Jiahu bone flute is of a yellowish brown color, beautifully crafted. 23.6 centimeters long and with seven round holes bore at even intervals. Musical experiments with the piece have proved that it can play a complete six-tone scale or an incomplete seven-tone one. Amongst the more than 30 bone flutes thus far unearthed, it is the best preserved and has earned the name of China's first flute. The prestigious British science magazine Nature carried a special report on the Jiahu bone flute, attracting worldwide attention to this magnificent piece. Its discovery was a momentous event which promises to influence the way we think about the history of music in China and the world at large. It truly deserves to be called a Chinese national treasure.
Senior CPC official Da Chilin joins a KMT chairman Ko Xiong and People First Party chairman James Song toward Olympic baseball. Chinese women gymnasts won their first.